Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, I'm on the ship getting ready to land. Getting ready to go to land. I was just saying, my brothers and sisters, engineers are smart, engineers are good, engineers can do a lot of things. But have you ever taken some time to think that if engineers are so smart, and architects and all who put things together if they are so smart and can create so, so many great things what will it be when we get over yonder what God have in store for you and I is greater is greater is greater than anything that you will ever see ladies and gentlemen God have things in store for us that money can buy Revelation 22 verse 17 say you should Take the water of life freely. That's a trip God is giving you that money can buy. Take the water of life freely. And God in Revelation say, I counsel of thee to buy of me. Ladies and gentlemen, our righteousness is as filter rocks. But if we, my brothers and sisters, if we accept the gift of God, St. John chapter 3 verse 16 and Revelation chapter 22 verse 17, take the water of life freely, we will be able to be qualified. To be on the trip the greatest trip for mankind is ladies and gentlemen when the road is called up yonder when jesus shall come again we can be qualified not because of ourselves but because of the gift of god saint john's chapter 3 verse 16 says, for god so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life ladies and gentlemen for us to get on this great trip this great trip this awesome trip we must accept jesus christ as a son of god ladies and gentlemen not just that but we must obey his word what the bible said in the book of revelation chapter uh, 22 verse 14 the bible said the bible said blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have a right to the tree of life ladies and gentlemen jesus promised us life life abundant everlasting life i encourage you my brothers and sisters all over the world accept this gift for god so loved the world accept god's son do his will and your future will be bright may the peace of god enfold you may the grace of god rest upon you in a mighty way god bless you and keep you do not forget that all who serve god everyone who serve god everyone who obey god whether you're living when you come or you die you will get eternal life ladies and gentlemen revelation 20 revelation chapter 20 Verse 6 says, Blessed are they that have part in the first resurrection if you die. But if you're alive, the Bible says we shall be changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. God is great and God is good. Ladies and gentlemen, accept the free gift. St. John chapter 3 verse 16. Accept the free ticket. Revelation 22 verse 17. Take the water of life freely. May the peace of God enfold you. May the grace of God rest upon you in a mighty way. Now we are coming to land from off the sea it is so beautiful it is so awesome but this is nothing in comparison to the things that god have in store for those who love him amen amen god bless you and keep you have a nice day or night this is evangelist after saying god is good and god is great he's worthy to be praised angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him here evangelist Baxter is taking a little time to praise him because god is worthy to be praised to god be the glory great things he have done so love you the world that he gave us his son god bless you